Good afternoon, friends. I'm coming to you on my lunch break because I am deeply disturbed by something I saw last night and it just can't wait till I get off work to, to discuss, okay? Or to, to address. As some of you may know, I advocate for any kind of abuse victim. So molestation, rape, mental abuse, physical abuse, domestic violence, um, sex trafficking, any type of abuse. That's my ministry, okay? What I saw on Netflix, what I saw pop up on Netflix, now I saw the buzz coming a while ago saying there's going to be this show coming out called Cuties, and I really thought it got squashed. I thought it got squashed, but it did not. It came out on Netflix. I just saw it pop up in my movie options last night. <clears throat> in this movie... Um, I guess was filmed in France or is from France is so disturbing I cannot believe this is illegal and I signed a petition to get it taken down along with many others but this needs to come down immediately and I'm gonna tell you why I did watch it not because I wanted to watch it but because I didn't want to speak on something without seeing what was in it you know going by here say third-party information I wanted to see what was in it before I spoke on it now I do not advise anybody to go watch this because it's just gonna boost the ratings um, boost its popularity I don't want to do that and I didn't want to watch it for that reason but I'm gonna tell you what I saw and I do not advise again anybody to watch this movie if you haven't already okay so it was about a bunch of 11 year olds okay um 11 now they looked 11 i did not research how old these actresses were but i'm pretty sure they were 10 or 11 because that's about how old they looked and that's what they were portraying a group of 11 year olds which is enough right the parents need to be beat for putting their children in this movie okay it's totally unacceptable but this group of 11 year olds were obsessed with twerking that's what the movie's about unacceptable first of all but this is what I saw in this movie that just totally disturbed my peace okay um for one I mean let's just get uh, get the get out the way that these 11 year olds were doing literal stripper dances and the camera angles that were being used were literally highlighting their pelvic area, their butts, um, anything sexual, completely sexualizing these children. These are children, okay? These are not even 18 year olds, 19 year olds. These are babies. These children are five years older than my granddaughter. Like, totally unacceptable. But even the camera angles, you got these kids humping the ground, you know, twerking, butts in the air, and the camera angles, they're taking videos of their pelvic region. Butts in the air. I mean, I, it's just mind-blowing. Stripper dances. Little kids doing stripper dances. I'm not exaggerating. It's bad, okay? So we got that. Let's get that out the way. Okay. There was a scene where um, the main character, an 11 year old, had her pants pulled down in school and her underwear were exposed, but she was wearing children's underwear, appropriately so. So everyone started making fun of her because she had on children's underwear. So to prove her womanhood, she took a picture of her vagina and uploaded it on social media. Mm -hmm. and then gave the group a reputation of being whorish these are 11 year olds she's up here on this movie taking a picture of her vagina and putting it on social media I, I have a problem with that let's strike that off the list 
there is a scene where she stole her uncle again the main character stole her uncle's cell phone and he finally figured out that she stole the cell phone he caught her with it he's trying to get the cell phone back she um tries to negotiate with him by taking her jacket off exposing her top and then starts to unzip her pants to expose her bottom. She tries to seduce her uncle in an effort to keep the cell phone in her possession. And he was like, girl, what's wrong with you? And pushed her, you know, he had the appropriate response, but she tried to seduce her uncle to keep a cell phone. What in the entire heck? This is an 11 year old. Goodness, I don't even know what to say about that um okay there's a scene where she had main character again she's being raised muslim she's wearing a tank top and some underwear of course they have to have her in her drawers in this scene and she's standing there with her arms out and her mother and her aunt are like kind of sprinkling her with i guess their version of a holy water I, I mean i don't know i'm not muslim i can't speak on what they were doing maybe trying to exercise some demons from her and she's like shivering and shaking. Then she starts getting on the floor, gyrating and basically like twerking on the floor like demons are coming out of her. And they're showing her in her underwear doing this. In underwear and a tank top. It was very overly sexualized. And absolutely disgusting. Imagine a pedophile watching this. And getting aroused by it. It just, I just could not believe my eyes. I'm getting upset even thinking about it. Um, <clears throat> there's a scene where the main character was dared to go in the boy's bathroom and take a picture of another boy using the bathroom to take a picture of his penis. But she didn't capture the picture right, um, but she tried to. Take a picture of his penis. These are 11-year-olds. Why is there a movie like this? I'm trying to understand why there's, this should be illegal. These are children, Okay. Now, the one thing that really bothered me, too, is the girl, the main character, caught her period in this movie. So, um, they wanted to highlight that she's now a woman because she got her period at 11. You're a woman now. What message is this sending pedophiles? Oh, well, she might be 11, but she's a woman now because she got her period. So any any child that gets a period is a woman. So it's okay to violate them. That's the kind of message that you're sending, Netflix. Like, really? You're sending a message that 11-year-olds are women? No, it's a child with a period. That's what she is. She's not a woman. But these are the subliminal messages being implanted into people watching it. You got pedophiles watching it. Okay, believe me, they're watching it and they're thinking, oh, she's a woman, it's okay. It's okay to go after 11 year olds. She's on her period. She's a woman. And then there's other scenes where her aunt's talking to her, you know, giving her the idea that she's a woman now and she got married at a young age. I'm just like, I'm done. I'm done. This movie needs to be come off Netflix. I don't know what needs to be done. I mean, I signed a petition, I'm a, I posted it on my page. Sign it, please. I don't know what this petition is going to do. I don't know if petitions work, but sign it anyway. And, like, really, hell needs to be raised about this movie. I mean, really? You just don't mess with kids. You didn't. You don't do it. Like, you, this is where I draw the line. Like, <laughs> leave kids alone. You don't make a movie with 11-year-old little girls, Netflix. This is not okay. This is not okay. So don't watch the movie, okay? Like I said, I'm making my life's mission to try to spread awareness and protect children especially from these pedophiles. Like I'm appalled. It's the only reason why I sat through and watched this to see what was in it. We need to stop this movie, we need to get it. If I could rip this thing down off Netflix with my bare hands, I would. Like I'm very upset that this is on there and I, I I'm just thinking about the people that are going to be sexually aroused, the sickos from watching this. And I can't even believe that it's legal to make a movie like this. And their parents should be held accountable. Like, this is terrible. Anyway, I just wanted to say that. Don't go watch it. 
sign the petition, and um, raise your voices. Boycott Netflix if you have to. We need to get this movie taken down. Thank you and try to enjoy your weekend. Thanks for listening.